I became a physician uh, for so many reasons, but to, to key in on a, a few of the reasons, in pediatric otolaryngology and head and neck surgery, the anatomy is vital to life. You have to breathe. Your senses, you, it's necessary. You need to see, you need to hear, you need to be able to taste things. And so you're able to interact with your environment through so many things that are in the head and neck. Um, also, why did I choose pediatric otolaryngology? I mean, who doesn't love a child? I'm, I'm the mother of four. Um, I love children. And so in that specialty, I am the otolaryngologist of every part of that child, as opposed to adults. Some adults do only throats, and some adults do only ears, and some adults do only sinuses. But for the child, I am everything for that patient, and we've been fellowship trained to be, be that person. As head and neck surgeons, we're often focused on the end goal, which is the treatment of the patient, the care of the patient, and to make sure that the patient has great outcomes. But it really warms your spirit when a family reaches back out and says, hey, you, this is little Johnny now. This is what he's doing now. He's able to speak. He's able to hear. He speaks just like his other peers. He's in the same classes with his other peers. It really makes a difference for us as well.